beer o'clock on Real Old Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog and it's a can of their zombie cake praline chocolate porter coming in at 5% ABV. 3.30 can, let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass then. Interesting looking beer. We've got a two to three finger, slightly, I'm gonna say, in between slightly off white and a tan colored head. It's quite light to look at. It almost looks like a mild. Can you see the light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass? That indicates to me Yes, it's quite light to look at, for a porter. Let's get the aroma. Smells nice though. This is one of Brewdog's headliners, they call them, so it's a permanent beer in their range. If you're watching this beer review, you like the sound of the beer, you should be able to pick it up in any Brewdog bar or they do a four, a four pack of this in most supermarkets these days. Nutty, biscuity, chocolatey, very sweet. It smells okay, let's dive in, cheers. Oh wow, it's a bit like being in a, a confectionery, a, a, a chocolate shop. As you, as you get the aroma of the beer, very sweet, very chocolatey. When you taste the beer, the sweetness, the nuttiness, the prawling, the chocolate, envelops your palate, it takes control. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back end, but this is all about the, the, the sweet lusciousness of, of, of chocolate. And it's quite light, it's quite refreshing. I showed you how light it was earlier on in terms of actual light bleeding through the glass of beer. But it's very light on the palate. It's not big, thick and kind of like it's dredging through sand, you know, in the, at the bottom of the sea, the bottom of the ocean. It's not, it's not like it's kind of too thick, too fat, too bold. It's very drinkable. It's very refreshing for a porter. Which brings me to, would I buy it again? Would I drink it again? <sighs> yes, I would. I would. I like a little bit of sweetness every now and again. If I've had a load of bitter beers, a load of kind of American double IPAs, American IPAs from the west coast of America, they're really bitter on the palate. I might need something to counteract that bitterness before I went home that night and I wanted something slightly sweet or sweet and I would go with this and this would kind of counteract that bitter bitterness. The question is, how many could I drink? The sweetness on the beer is suggesting to me that I could probably probably drink two cans but they sell it in a four pack and that's what I was sharing with my wife I think my wife might might like this beer I think she probably would like this beer the sweetness the prawling the nuttiness 
the chocolate flavors coming through. Yeah, I think she would she would enjoy this. So I'd probably split that box of four cans, two for her, two for me, and we'd we'd have a you know a nice finish to the evening. I don't think I could drink the whole four cans on my own. They're a little bit too sweet to take the whole four. Nah, I couldn't do that. Let's rate it. Zombie Cake by Brewdog. For me, probably the sweetest stout or porter that Brewdog have produced by far. By far. Um, it's tough. They produce some fantastic nitro stouts, nitro porters, jet black heart is really kind of big and thick and bold. This is something different. This is this this is yeah, it's like a it's like a cake. They put cake on the back of the can. It's like it's like a it's like a Tesco tray bake cake that you buy and you think that looks fantastic and then you eat a slice and you're like Oh, can I eat any more? It's so sweet, it's so chocolatey. It's a funny one, it really is a funny one. Um, I like it enough to give it... I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!